Okay, this is the Cinepeer CX100. It's a newly released photography filming studio light that you can use via an integrated battery. This is very portable, very lightweight, and I'm excited to showcase how this works and how powerful this actually is. If you're familiar with Zion products, then you will notice that they have a very similar looking light already called the Molus X100. And I'm gonna showcase some of the differences around this one. Upon launch of this video, this retails at £199 or dollars, but I also have an even further discount code for you to use to get this even further cheaper. So make sure you check the link and the details in the description below if you are on the market for a very powerful and very portable photography light. So before we jump into it, I just want to talk through some of the differences between this and the Molus X100 because I consider the CX100 to be more of the lighter budget friendly version, whereas the Molus X100 I would say is more of a premium version because it has a little bit more features that you can use and the design is slightly different and enhanced. So before I run into the design of this, I'm going to show you a quick comparison between the CX100 and the X100 photography light in case you want to do a comparison to find out which one is the right version for you and then we'll go ahead and look at the design and showcase how bright this actually is because this is very powerful and I've left my background very dark as you can see because I'm going to illuminate this entire room with just the studio light and you'll be amazed at how powerful this is so let's get into it okay so starting off with the price like I mentioned this retails at 199 the Molus X100 is slightly more expensive at 249 but as you'll see in this comparison table some of the reasons why you do have a bit more of a premium set of features now it doesn't have an on screen on the CX100 but the Molus X100 does have a digital display built on top of the actual photography light which you can also use to see the actual details of your light settings this does have a max peak illuminance of 3840 lux, whereas the X100 is slightly higher. Now, in terms of the battery, the CX100 does have a 4500 milliamp hour battery, which does give you about 30 minutes of usage on full maximum 100 watt power. But the grip itself is integrated and is not removable. The X100 does have a detachable grip whereby you can charge it separately. This also does not have any music mode or app controls on top of the CX100. If that is something that you'd like to use with your photography light, then the X100 would probably be the better choice for you. One of my favorite things about using this light is that it is portable and wireless, so you don't need to have it connected to an external power for you to use it. This battery pack just there integrated onto it gives you more than enough capability to get the full maximum output on this. In comparison to the X100, the use case for this is essentially the same. It gives you the same 100 watt output and the brightness is pretty much exactly the same. And this also has a CCT scale from a cool white to a very warm white adjuster knob, which is also the same on both models. If you want to get some of those additional features like I've just shown you, then maybe the X100 is better. But like I mentioned, if you're on a little bit of a budget, this can do pretty much exactly the same main purpose as the premium version, the X100. So, I think this is gonna be very nice to showcase how bright this can illuminate, not yourself, but if you want to have any filming sessions or photography sessions, this is gonna be more than enough to do that. So let's just quickly take a look at the design. In the box, this comes with a silicone diffusion dome that you can attach and very easily take off as well. There's a little switch there to unlock it and you can also replace this with other attachments. You also have the charging port for the battery just there it has a USB-C Type-C port. Then you can also have a DC input as well if you just want to get constant power into this and use this for long periods of time. This is a very nice grip that you can hold very comfortably, much like a camera. Then you also have a nice cooling system at the back. To turn this on, you have this red switch here. Like it says just on the left, you just have to tap it once and then hold it for a couple of seconds. The lights will come on indicating that it's now powering on and then you can start using it with the knobs on the left. The knob on the bottom is for your power so you can actually have it completely off at zero and you can cycle all the way to 100 watts which I will showcase how bright that actually is. And then you have the CCT knob just at the top from 2700 kelvins all the way to 6500 kelvins and I'll showcase how that looks as well. If you want to get a little attachment grip for your wrist strap or something, then you can also do that just by connecting it to this corner section here. 
It does give you a warning as well to make sure you don't expose this light to excessive heat for long periods of time because obviously this is powered by an external battery so you don't want it to overheat in any situation if you do have it outside maybe in a very hot weather condition. And lastly you can also mount this onto a tripod you can see there's two quarter 20 inch threads there which I'm going to put on a tripod as well because I think it will just be a little bit more convenient to have it positioned on top of a ball head so I can reposition it and move it around when I'm doing my filming. So let's go ahead and turn this on and showcase how powerful this 100 watt light actually is. Okay so I've made it a little bit more darker because I really want to showcase how bright this will make your room. So to turn it on you press the button once and then you hold it down, you'll see the lights and it turns on. Now this is on the lowest setting so you can see how bright the room already is becoming but I'm going to turn the knob for the power output and showcase how bright this room actually gets. So I'm going all the way to 100. Take a look at that. This is extremely bright. Now I wouldn't even be able to look directly into the dome as well so if this was facing me then it would hurt my eyes a little bit so I need to face it towards the side maybe use this as a filler light but just having it on the maximum power output this is going to be useful especially if you do outdoor shoots where it's bright already and you just want to fill some of those darker areas some of the shadows and those kind of things but just look how bright this room actually is and it feels like I've actually turned on the main lights in here to just brighten everything up now let's go ahead and show you the CCT scale so right now this is on the very cool white. So I'm just going to turn this and it's going to become a very warm yellow light here. And obviously you can use this and adjust it to your preferences for whichever type of photography or filming you do. This one I think is probably the one I'm going to use the most. And just look how bright that is. It's like I have the power of the sun in my hands that just looks really cool and I can actually just temporarily turn it off with just the knob rather than turning the whole power off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now mount this onto my tripod in fact I'll do that now so there we have it put it on my tripod with a quick release plate this is convenient because then I can just take it off whenever I need to use it handheld for any shoots let's go ahead and turn this on and I like to use this on a ball head as well, so it will be very easy for me to just reposition and just lock it into place wherever I think I would need it. So one thing I want to talk about is the actual dome itself, because like I mentioned, using the silicone dome, it is actually very bright. And if I want to use this as a light that is directed directly at me when I am doing my filming and I feel like it's a bit too bright and even on the lowest level, it's just kind of there in my eyes then you can actually replace the actual dome on the front with another attachment making it a bit more of a soft box and I want to showcase another example now it's very simple to take this off you just turn the switch and it comes off like this you can actually connect this to various other larger soft boxes it does have a compatible filter for Bowen mount soft boxes as well one thing I like to use on this is sort of a mini sized one just because this is a very small portable photography light. That's where this comes in. This is the Zion quick release mini soft box that you can also purchase and I'll also put the link down in the description below for this one. I'm going to attach this to the light and I've connected the little cross hatch velcro on top of the soft box because then this would allow me to use this as a light directed right behind my camera directly onto me without having to worry about it hurting my eyes. So let's just connect this. There we go. Lock it into place. And now you're ready to use this. So let's go ahead, showcase. It's a much softer light and it's more directed as well. So this is on full power. You can see in comparison to when I had it on full power with the silicone diffusion dome, that this is a little bit lighter and it's more easier on the eyes. So this is a very good complementary accessory if you do want to buy that in addition to just the photography light itself. And just to showcase one final example of how great this is lighting up your environment, I'm just gonna showcase a clip now of using this in my room upstairs when I do some filming up there. Sometimes it's very hard to get enough daylight to help eliminate some of the shadows, but I'm going to be setting it up with this 
and to show you a before and after of how great this works. Okay, so here I am sitting in my room and you can see it is pretty dim. There's not a lot of natural light that's coming into the room. So now I'm going to be turning on the CX100 portable light. Here you go, this is on the lowest setting and you can see how bright that already is using the silicone diffusion dome. And now I'm going to be turning it up to full power all the way to 100 watts. And this is the maximum output and you can see how bright the room actually is. You can see me very clearly now. So if I go ahead and now switch over the CCT scale and cycle to the warm white color, you can see the very slow transition, how warm the colors actually get in the room. And this is great for taking videos or photos outdoors when you want to get more of a warmer setting. Now you can see how warm the room looks, giving a strong ambience, which would be great for nighttime shoots. More than anything, just the ease of use of this light makes it the perfect filming light choice for those looking for great value for money. So that's the Cinepair CX100. Link, discounts and latest pricing information is in the description. If you like the look of this light, make sure to hit the like button, drop any comments or questions you may have, and as always, I'll get back to you. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next one.